we are living in a time of change. In our nation, you see it, there, there's conflict, there's change happening. And of course, the, one of the greatest changes that is occurring right now as we sit and talk is our tax code in the United States. Tax code is huge. It determines what you get to keep. It's the motivation of creating or not creating a business. It's going to affect all of your decisions. And it's going to have a huge impact on this nation. You're already seeing the stock market react to some of these changes. And life is changing. There's excitement in the economic realm here in the United States. People are excited about business again. And I have asked our good friend, you know, Dan Pillow has been on our broadcast. He comes to our provision conferences. He is a good friend, and Dan is the go-to guy with uh, the topic of taxes. And I've asked him to come on through Skype and begin to just kind of break some of this down. So you might want to grab a pencil and paper as we begin to talk about the tax code and how it will affect you and some of the decisions you will make this year in business, family life, but there are changes that will uh, help you at, and you need to be aware of how to take advantage of them. So I'd like to welcome by Skype tonight, and you can give me a big help to welcome uh, right now Dan Pilla. It's great to have you, Dan. So It's good to be here, Gary. This seems like witchcraft, but it's working. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it works great. And of course, you're in sunny Minneapolis, right? Yeah, yeah well, whatever. You yeah, guys got it made up there, that warm climate. Yeah, yeah we have, uh, right now we've got zero degrees here. It's been snowing all day. So I don't know about uh, sunny Minnesota. It's January <laughs> in Minnesota. We don't get any sun here. Dan, I'm sure you're, uh, you told me you're doing interviews once a day. I mean, people are calling and asking. Yeah. Uh, this is big news. And yeah, uh, what, what, 30 years? I mean, how long since we had a tax well, overall? It's first of all, Gary. This this is this is the one thing that's on the top of my list with this tax plan. It's not tax reform. They're calling it tax reform. They're calling it the most significant tax overhaul in thirty or thirty-five years, and it isn't any of those things. But it is what a change. It is, what, it is a change. What, what it is is what, what it is is a tax cut. There's a lot of changes. Gary. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Tax cut, yes. But it's, but not it's a reform. Not tax it's not tax reform in the truest sense of the word that, that you would think of tax reform, that I certainly would think of tax reform, and you, that your viewers here are going to think of tax reform as really true simplification of the laws uh, and, and narrowing the scope of the rules and, and, and making things more consistent and more stable. That's what tax reform is all about. Yeah. This law does none of that. So you're talking now, about dumping the progressive tax code and well, all that well, stuff. Well, 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 not even that, Gary. It's, let's not even go that far. I'm just talking about simplifying the rules. For example, there's eight different definitions of the world ch of the word child in the Internal Revenue Code. Well, none of these none of these tax reforms change that. There's there's uh, there's uh, you know seven there's 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 five different uh, filing categories: married, filing jointly, and single, and so on. This tax bill didn't change any of that. Yeah, you sure. still got seven different tax brackets. Or okay, the tax brackets have been cut. So 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 uh, the IRS or, or Congress had a chance to really truly simplify the tax code by eliminating the alternative minimum tax, and they didn't do that. The House version of the bill would, would have cut the, the alternative minimum tax, but the Senate didn't have the guts to do what they were supposed yeah. to do and do the right thing, so, they, so, it, so it didn't get done. But so hey, they, let's, they missed a real chance. But there was some tax cuts, and you'd have to admit that in itself is a not normal day in, in Washington. And, and, and that's true. So, so, so we said what it isn't. All right, it isn't tax reform yeah. in the truest sense. So let's talk about what it is. That's good. Thank you. What it is is an across-the-board tax cut, and that's Gary. That's a good thing. Every yes. American in every business needs tax relief. So I'm not against across-the-board tax cuts. Right. But tax cuts and tax reform are two different yeah, things. Yeah, sure they are. Now, the tax cuts are a good thing, Gary. Every single tax bracket is good. People in every single tax bracket are going to see a significant, uh, uh, at least a little bit, if not a significant reduction in their tax bills. And for people that are that are earning income between fifty and $85,000, what we would call the heart of the middle class, right. that group right there is going to see tax cuts that are between 11% to 36% of their tax liability, with the biggest cuts coming on the lowest end of the income spectrum. Well, that's this pretty bill good. is also going to 
th th this law is also going to take another approximately four and a half million people off the tax rolls altogether on the lowest end of the income spectrum. So from a tax cut standpoint, this is a good thing, Gary. It's going to help people. The numbers indicate that uh, that American workers are going to see a 3 to 4 percent increase in their take-home pay as a result of this bill. These are all good things, Gary. No question right, about it. Right. And that doesn't even talk about the business tax cuts, which we can, which we can get into. Right. So middle class is getting a, a decent tax cut. Uh, which is better than, of course, the alternative. Right. right. Uh, and then the alternative was, you know, make them play, pay their fair share, right? Remember that, that uh, slogan well, from and, the other? And, and, and this is the madness that we hear every single election cycle and the insanity we hear every time there is an actual tax cut that passes through Congress. And we've seen it this time, too. Uh, the leftists around the country are screaming tax cuts for the rich, tax cuts for the rich. As I already said, every single bracket is going to see a reduction in their tax liability. Now, the highest bracket, Gary, goes from 39.5% down to 37%. That's not a big tax cut from a percentage standpoint. But right. what happens is when you get into that highest bracket and you're earning income at the level of the highest 1% in America, guess what? You're paying 55 60% of all the taxes in America every year. So from a dollar standpoint, right. of course, you're going to get a significant reduction when there's a, a, a uh, even a moderate percentage reduction in your liability. But as I said, mm -hmm. the people in the middle class, that fifty to eighty five thousand dollar range are going to see the deepest tax cuts of anybody on the spectrum and as much as thirty six percent in some cases. The rich, the rich out there are not getting a thirty six percent tax cut, Gary. No. And, and the fact and, and the fact of the matter is that any tax cut that's come down the pike in the last. 30 years uh, has, has, has not been a tax cuts for the rich program. It's nonsense. It's just nonsense. Right. Exactly right. But there was a significant change. I, I think it was a big change. The corporate tax rate, uh, which is a permanent fixture of the bill, uh, went into effect. That is a, that is a big change. That, that's a huge change. And that's a huge tax cut. You're talking about the corporate income yes. tax rate. The corporate income tax rate, Gary, went from 35% down to 21%. That's huge. All right? Yes. Now, here's the deal. Again, people are screaming, tax cuts for these rich, greedy, mean, uh, you know, nefarious corporations. Why should we give tax cuts for corporations? The, the, the fact of the matter is corporations don't pay taxes to begin with. All right? Anytime you impose on it, anytime you impose taxes on a corporation, Gary, three things happen all of them bad, all right? No good thing happens. Three things happen which are all bad. First of all, you gotta, st you gotta start with the, with the economics of taxing corporations to begin with. Number one, corporations don't pay taxes, people do. So when you impose a tax on a corporation, people pay that tax in one of three ways. That's good. Either the owners of the corporation pay the tax in the form of reduced return on their investments. In other words, their dividends go down, right? Yep. And that creates a disincentive to invest in corporations in the first place. Correct. So that's a bad thing. Uh, the, 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 the second way that corporations pay, that, that uh, the tax gets paid, is through the corporate employees. They pay the tax with reduced wages yep. or reduced benefits or fewer employees altogether. All right. Sure. The third thing that happens is people pay taxes in the form of higher prices. Customers pay the tax in the form of higher prices for corporate goods and services. All of those things are bad. The other thing that happens, Gary, is uh, is taxes on corporations create economic distortions. A distortion is something that causes a person to do that which they wouldn't otherwise do or to keep from doing something that they might wish to do. So taxes on corporations create these disincentives, these distortions is really the right word, creates the distortions that affect how the corporation goes out and invests money and, 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 and buys uh, tools and equipment, hires workers, uh, invests in, uh, in inventory, and, uh, and so forth. And then the last thing that happens is whenever you tax a corporation, you end up with double taxation. Right. Because corporations don't get a deduction, Gary, for the dividends they pay to their to their uh, shareholders. They don't get to write that off. So the corporation pays. If the corporation, let's say the corporation has got a profit of a million dollars, that profit of a million dollars is taxed at the corporate level. Then what's left is distributed to the shareholders, and they have to pay tax again at the individual tax rates. Yeah. 
So, you, so you, you've got this, this, this fabulous distortion that occurs when you're taxing corporations. None of it's good. None of it's good. Uh, and, and the fact of the matter is, Gary, if we want a stable economy, uh, if, if, we want, if we want solid corporations that are looking to hire people and not get rid of workers, if we want corporations grounded in the United States of America where they're producing and selling goods and services here and not abroad and the profits are staying here and they're not going offshore, then we need a low corporate income tax. And I would make the case that the corporate income tax should be zero, not 21 percent, certainly not 35 percent, zero. There should be no tax on corporations, income tax at least. Now, you also got to keep in mind that corporations pay a lot of employment taxes. All right. right. And, and you've got businesses, Gary, you know all about that. Sure. A, lot of, a lot of our uh, Team Revolution members have their businesses. They know all about paying employment taxes on their employees. Right. So when you've got growing corporate profits and you're hiring more workers to help you deliver the goods and services you need to you need to deliver, guess what? You pay more employment taxes. The, the, the bottom line, Gary, is, is that there's no question about the fact that small business people are going to get some relief, a lot of relief with this particular provision. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.